Masters four men remained in Montreal for the Rogers Cup, the sixth Masters 1000 tournament of the year, and the Canadians were guaranteed representation in the final for the first time since 1958, with two of their own squared off before the blockbuster in the night match. Two men that have played many times as juniors but never on the ATP World Tour, Mios Reinich and Vasik Pospisil, both contested their first Masters semi-final for the chance to represent their proud nation. The world number 13, Reinich started the match the stronger of the two to take a firm hold on the match. But the biggest weapon of the man with the most service games won on tour faltered as the enormous implication dawned in the second set. The world number 71 took the second set to the delight of the crowd who wanted the contest to go on and on. Midway through the deciding set, Pospisil looked to have the upper hand. But a tiebreak was ultimately needed to split the Canadians. Reinich held his nerve to create history in reaching the final and also become the first Canadian to rise to the top ten in the rankings. It's a really special feeling. Uh, the milestone of being in my first Masters final is big on its own, but especially the fact that it's in uh, home territory here in Montreal where I spent three years of my development is just great. And to have it in front of a crowd that's so supportive like they are here for me, it's pretty spectacular. The night match was the one that the world has been waiting for. It had been 18 months since they met on a hard court in the epic Australian Open final, the longest in Grand Slam history. This was their 36th meeting. Despite having an early opportunity on Nadal's serve, Djokovic found his own targets wanting in the opening set, giving the Spaniard the advantage. Although Nadal had a double break advantage halved, Djokovic was unable to prevent him taking the lead. The world number one improved in the second set, but nothing could separate the pair until a moment of magic which ignited the crowd and Djokovic. Oh, now that's more like it. The support spurred Djokovic on to provide the deciding set that everyone wanted. Both semi-finals go the distance today. The quality of the duel only improved as the match wore on. One of the best rallies of the match ended in uncomfortable fashion for the Serb. Nadal's level went up, but yet again a tiebreak was needed to separate the pair and decide the second finalist here. Nadal dominated the tiebreak to reach a magnificent 10th final of the season. The match was on the limit uh, all the time no, for me and hopefully for him too. So we, I think we tried our best in every moment playing. Uh, Playing very aggressive, uh, the court is quick, I cannot go, go behind and uh, try to put one more ball inside, I just have to go for the point and that's what I tried. Just one match remains to decide the champion in Montreal and just who will lift the Rogers Cup. One man going for his first trophy at this level, another his 25th.